You can rest easy, sir. I'm already feeling better. Thanks. I took the liberty of washing and repairing your shirt and cape. The souvenirs of the Gotham City sewers are best left under the streets. I'm sure Lois will appreciate that. Honor and distinction. John Corbin might have been more machine than man, but he was still human. A human being who certainly didn't deserve this. He came to me months ago, seeking a pardon and a fresh start. And mindful of my own history, as well as his enormous potential for good, I granted him both. In the short time Mr. Corbin had left, he worked hard for this country, helping to keep her secure from terrorist threats. Then, last night, John Corbin was murdered. Murdered, our prosecutors believe, by a man who used his own freakish power to settle a personal score. In violation of the laws that bind us all. A man who calls himself... Superman. Does he think anybody's going to believe that? I met with Superman to try to enlist him in the government's effort to stop the meteor. He, of all people, should have been eager to help. But instead, he lost his temper. Metallo stepped in to protect me. <sighs> And this is what Superman did to him. I know many of you will find it difficult to believe that Superman could do something like this. I shared that skepticism until some of our top scientists reminded me that Superman's vulnerability to kryptonite can have a psychological component. In other words, the radiation from the approaching meteor is affecting Superman's mind. He's a danger to us all now, and himself as well. In accordance with that, I am announcing a bounty on him, in the amount of one billion dollars. 